So you have a big interview coming up, you're recording remotely, and you wanna make sure everything goes off without a hitch. Well, here's seven tips to nail your next interview with high quality video and audio. Number one, get your room ready. You wanna make sure that you have minimal echo and reverb so your audio sounds good. You wanna make sure your background looks good on camera. Also, if you have kids or other people in the house, make sure that everyone knows when that interview time is, how long you'll be recording for, at least give them an idea, and ask everyone to be as quiet as possible. Maybe not do any laundry if that's on the other side of the wall. That actually happens here in my studio. Number two, get ready to record high quality audio. Even an inexpensive USB microphone, like $40, can make a huge difference in how you sound. We actually have a whole video showing you how to use a $40 USB mic, making it sound professional. Check it out above or the link in the description. If you have a pro audio setup with an audio interface, an XLR mic, that's great. But really, an inexpensive USB microphone will make a world of difference. One like this, the ATR2100X, actually comes with a little stand. Have that on the desk so you're not having to hold it during the whole interview, and you'll get great audio from this microphone. We also have a video on the seven best USB mics. You can check that out above or in the description. And don't forget, you want your remote guests to have great audio too. So ask if they have a USB mic they can use, or at the very least, if they have a pair of wired headphones with a microphone on the lanyard, that will actually be better than using a built-in microphone on their laptop or desktop. So make sure you ask, know what your guest is using, and if you have the funds, maybe even send them an inexpensive USB mic just to use for the interview. Number three, you're gonna wanna capture good video for the interview. Now, the easiest way to do this is with continuity camera and your iPhone. If you have an iPhone and a Mac running macOS Ventura or later, you can actually use your iPhone as a wireless webcam, no third-party software or apps are required, and this will probably be the highest quality video you have access to. We have a whole video on continuity camera walking you through it. You can check it out above or in the description. Or if you wanna get a good quality webcam, maybe a step up from the built-in webcam on your laptop, the Logitech USB Stream Cam is a great option. We'll put a link in the description. Also, don't forget about your remote guest. Ask what they'll be using, if they can use continuity camera, if they have an iPhone or a Mac, or again, if you can send them out a webcam just to make sure that they get great video for your interview. But if they don't have an iPhone or they can't use continuity camera, make sure they at least elevate their laptop or whatever the computer webcam they're using to eye level. A lot of times people leave their laptop on the desk and you get that unbecoming up angle, not great. So at least have them prop up that laptop so it looks a little better. Side note, along with good video comes with good lighting. If you don't have a lighting setup, there are some inexpensive options we'll put in the description, but at least sit facing a window rather than a window behind you, because then you get that silhouette look, it's not great. Encourage your guests to do the same, sit facing a window rather than one behind you, and they can even throw a sheet over the window to help soften that look. Again, another reason to use continuity camera though, the iPhone is very forgiving depending on lighting situations, so if you can't invest in it and you don't have a window in the room, Use your iPhone, you'll probably get good video either way. Number four, use the best platform for online and remote recording possible, and that's Riverside. With Riverside, you can create your own online studio. Inviting remote guests is as easy as sending them a link. Just copy the guest link right here. They open that in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, and they join from their computer, and they'll show up here right in the studio ready to record high quality video and audio. And Riverside records that video and audio locally on device, and then uploads those files, so you get the highest quality video and audio possible. Now, number five, you wanna be a good interviewer. So even before you get into the studio, you should have sent some question ideas and what topics you'll be talking about to your remote guests. That would be great to send in an email along with the Calendly link to book a time and actually record. We have an entire masterclass showing you the process of inviting remote guests, preparing those questions, and how to help them prepare. You could check that out above or in the video description. Being in the studio and prepared, you might still need to collaborate in real time. Maybe you need to tell them about something in their background that's distracting, or maybe to remind them to look at the lens of the camera rather than at the video screen below. You want them to be able to connect to the audience the same way you would, and that requires looking into the camera. That's why with Riverside, you can actually chat in real time with everyone you're recording with. Click here and then send a message, like a reminder to look in the camera lens, and then your guests can see that discreetly and you don't have to interrupt the flow of conversation or stop talking. Also, remember to be a good interviewer, meaning listen to your guests as they're speaking. If good questions come to your mind as they're talking about a story or something in their life, then interject those good questions. And if they're struggling to get an answer out or put together their thoughts, encourage just to take a break, pause. You'll be able to edit this section out later in the Riverside editor anyway, and then have them start again. Once you're done recording, hit that stop button and encourage your guests just to hang around for a few moments as their video and audio files upload. You'll see upload complete in the top toolbar of Riverside, and then you'll know you have all the high quality video and audio files so you can edit. Then number six is editing your content well. You wanna make sure that that interview is both engaging the whole time you cut out any dead space or retakes from different questions. So jumping into the recordings from your Riverside studio, you can actually download all those separate video and audio files if you wanna edit them in Premiere or Final Cut, or you can use the Riverside editor. Click edit and create clips in the top right corner, hit 16 by nine, and now you can edit with our text-based transcription editor. We have AI powered transcriptions in over 100 languages. So you can search for that section where you said, maybe you wanna take that again, or search for a specific word that you know triggered an edit. 
and then you can delete that section just by selecting the text and hitting the delete button. Now it's gone from this clip and you'll be able to export a clean version. Continue to edit, even add custom intro and outro clips to your video content, and then you can export this video in up to 4K video quality. A good strategy might be to actually add a little intro trailer for the interview showing the best parts, highlighting some impactful moments that your guest had as they spoke, and then you can add that in that intro file that we talked about. If you'd like to learn more about creating a hook for your video podcast, check out this video above or in the description. And if you really want to nail your interview content, make sure you share clips both on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. The Riverside Editor can help with that too. Going back into the Edit and Create Clips, you can choose Vertical, then choose a 30 to 60 second clip in the editor, and you can export that vertical video to share on your social media. There's huge benefits to sharing those vertical clips, not only the chance to go viral, but you'll most likely reach a brand new audience or those that don't already listen to your podcast and will hopefully encourage them to listen to your full show. If you'd like to learn more about video podcasting, YouTube, and the benefit of adding video to your podcast, check out this video above or in the description. And if you have any questions about how to nail your next interview, leave a comment below this video. I'd love to personally answer you there. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.